Hello, my name is Eric Worthington, online marketing consultant for Good News Media Solutions. My business partner, Karen Chalky, and I are experts at helping businesses just like yours get more customers and sales using digital marketing. Welcome to another episode of Online Brand Video Review, in which you recommend a business and I review the effectiveness of that business's overall online brand. Today, we're going to be looking at MNS Plumbing out of Phoenix, Arizona. We're going to check out their web page, their search results, their Google My Business, their Facebook page, see if they're on the Facebook ad library, and then do a wrap up with more suggestions. First up is going to be the web page. We're going to look at their domain, logo placement, general notes. They have a favicon. What does it look like on a cell phone? What are the hover keywords? Do they have a Facebook pixel? What about Google Analytics? And how about SEO, search engine operations? optimization. That's how customers find you. Before I get started, just to let you know that it was my daughter Elizabeth that was surfing the internet looking for potential clients for me. And that's how we found you. And you asked for an email. And so this is what I'm going to put in the email is this video. Okay, we're on your web page right at the top. Good COVID announcement to all of our customers. We are essential and open. We are taking steps. Very good. Nice to see a good message related to COVID. All right, clicking down through, we have a, a nice looking uh, banner across the top, like the colors, home, specials, MNS plumbing. See that little logo? I'm going to look for that to show up in a lot of places, that little square with the drop in it. I like it. MNS plumbing, plumbing and drain cleaning specialist. Let's look for those keywords, people plumbing and drain cleaning. Schedule and a phone number that appears to be click to call. Let's click on it. Yes, it is. Good job. All right. A Phoenix, Arizona plumbing company, you can count on it. There's a number again, and it lights up, click to call or schedule a quote. I like it. We now have a location. Not sure what that means, but they have a location. That's good for them. And there's our address. Let's let's just give a quick, remember that, Thoreau Lane, all right? Monday through Friday, about MS Plumbing, family owned. I like it, 20 years. We've got a click through to Yelp, a click through to Facebook, and a click through to google.com with your maps. It looks like it's going to be your maps. MNS Plumbing offers plumbing services in Anthem, Arizona and the surrounding area, area. So that's just outside of Phoenix. Professional and courteous, 24 seven on time appointments, five star reputation, Better Business Bureau, Angie List, excellent plumbing and drain services, fully serviced plumbing company based in Anthem, serving the greater Phoenix metro area. General plumbing service, shower installation and repair, electric and gas water heaters, toilet repair, drain cleaning, and sewer repair. Very good. Location and service area. There we go. Right? Just the north side of Phoenix and all that area there. Excellent. And another clickable um, uh, phone number. That web route is giving me a little caution on. Let's click on that and see what happens. I don't know why that one's particularly giving a caution. But we'll see inside the code. Phoenix, location service, Phoenix, there's all our areas, Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, Glen Oak, um, and whatnot. And then we can schedule. We have a little form to fill out. Very good. What is your, what's your problem? And submit. Jump down from there. We're into the blog. Uh, here's one from April 22nd, Plumbing and Your Pet. Here's Tree Root from March, February. Excellent. They've got an excellent blog, live blog going on. 24 7 emergency services, call this number. There's the click throughs again. Blah, blah, blah. Looking good. Powered by Green Thumb Local. I like it. Nice looking web page. Let, let me make some notes. MNS Plumbing is the domain. Very good. Name of the company. Keyword is all built in MNS Plumbing. Plumbing is in the name. Logo placement, center top. I like the uh, human eye tends to go to center left first, but this one works in this case because it's in a colored banner and you've got the nice blue cube with the eye, with the water drop in it. Uh, general notes, excellent use of call to action buttons. Click the call is working. Very good. Favicon, yes, you have a Favicon. Great to see the water droplet. It's a Favicon. It's exactly what I wanted to see. I'm right, going to go back to the website. We're going to look at it on a cell phone and then do some hover keywords, some Facebook pixel investigation, Google Analytics, and overall search engine optimization. Hang tight. Real quick, what's a Favicon, you ask? See this little uh, white square with the blue square with the white water droplet? That is a Favicon. That's Google's for Maps. That's Google's for uh, um, Google Search. And there's one of docs because that's where I've been writing my notes. And then this hover is what the, what the hover is. And that's the very first thing uh, of hidden text is, is right there. Phoenix, Arizona Plumbing Company based in Anthem. Um, good. You've got Phoenix in there. You've got plumbing. 
very good. You can write longer titles nowadays. It's kind of recommended. Uh, maybe a sentence that kind of describes a little bit about you guys. But um, but you got the right idea going on there. All right, let's jump into the code. Here we are looking at the actual HTML code. Very first search is for the word title. Your title is, as we saw from the hover, because that's what it is, Phoenix, Arizona Plumbing Company based in Anthem, Arizona, MS Plumbing. Again, that could be uh, longer, could be actually more like a description, which we'll look at next. Here's your description. Again, it's a meta text, so it doesn't show up visually to the to the to the person. It's just something that Google spiders crawl across at night. It is MS Plumbing is a Phoenix, Arizona plumber based in Anthem, Arizona. We provide a full line of residential and commercial plumbing services. Okay, commercial plumbing services. That's good to know. Here it is again, MS Plumbing, blah, 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 commercial, same thing. Again, da, 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 same thing. Okay. No need to repeat sentences like that. Um, even, I see they're for different things. One's for Twitter, one's for this, one for that. But this is an opportunity to mix it up and get more keywords that represent the services you sell, the services that customers are searching on when they're in your service area. So the names of all those towns, you want to sprinkle those throughout throughout these um descriptions and put a different service with a different town any kind of kind of combination like that will work well and google will bring you up uh, through search results if we can make that happen more okay missed opportunity here alt e those are alternative text what does that mean well when the visually impaired look at the internet obviously they don't see it right so the browsers they use speak to them and they speak the words that are in the alternative text for the images that are on your web page. So most of the images on your web page have an alternative text that's all garbled and it's like just the name of the PNG, name of the photograph is the alternative text. Like this here is an example right here, 68, 225, MS, icons, blah, 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 PNG. And this is a, a very missed opportunity because here I am going through a whole bunch of them. It's a photograph that's on your web page and the only alternative text there's one that says our service area. So obviously that has to do with um, some kind of a uh, plumbing and your pet. There's something. That's that's something to hold on to there because it's related to that image that we saw earlier that you had a blog post called plumbing and your pet. Well, that's the name of the blog post, plumbing and your pet. But this is an opportunity for you to write MNS plumbing blog entry called plumbing and your pet. And then a sentence about, you know, it doesn't have to be too long, but you can get a lot of keywords in on that. Now, why do you want to do that? Besides helping the visually impaired understand your web page, you also want those Google spiders that are crawling over your web page every single night to see and rank all of these keywords that are found on your main page. And and from what I'm seeing right now, it's a lot of a... Um, a lot of missed opportunities. These uh, I see these blog posts, winter vacation plumbing tips, terrible toilet troubles. Those are great. And we definitely need more of that associated with all the photographs. Uh, better alt e writing um, as storytelling, as a sentence about each photograph. Right here, we're looking at what it should look like on a cell phone, a little cell phone emulator. If this is the case, and it looks pretty good. You've got right up front, you have two actionable buttons that are the very first thing the person is going to see and a quick description of who and what you are with a video running in the background. Schedule a quote or give us a call. And then you can scroll down and get into all the other stuff. So um, that's, uh, that's pretty good for a cell phone page. I like that. Excellent work there. Looking for Facebook Pixel. I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing the references to Facebook itself, but not the, um, and your Facebook page, but not a Facebook Pixel. What that tells me is that you probably haven't run Facebook ads in the past, and you therefore have no Pixel that's integrating Facebook page with your web page, something that's um, very advantageous to do nowadays that we can talk about. Google Analytics, I see your UA number right here. That's telling me that you do have Google Analytics, which most likely means you have run some Google ads in the past. It'd be interesting to see some history on how those did and how they were pitched. And um, and you should be able to get Google Analytics from your Google My Business page and your Google AdWords account. Uh, if that's something you're not familiar with, I can show you how to get into that. Right, quick wrap up on the web page. So back in the middle there, cell phone versus PC. Yes, I showed you that you're, it does look good. You have call to action buttons right at the top. That's what you want a cell phone. Somebody's mobile, somebody's out in the world. They find you. They want to be able to click to call you or click to get directions. Actually, I didn't see directions. That would have been a good click to call right at the top. Easy to push that in. 
Hover keywords um, are okay, but your description is better as a title. So moving your description up to the title and rewriting the description so it's longer and has more of your uh, cities that you cover, the areas that you that you mentioned on your webpage, has more of those and more of your services, like commercial, plumbing, things like that, of your services you offer. Uh, Facebook Pixel, um, no, no sign of that. Google Analytics, yes, did find some of that. And then in general, search engine opt optimization, uh, I'll talk a little bit more about the alternative names. Those blog post entries showed up. You kind of get a flavor for what you're supposed to be doing. But every single photograph should have an alternative entry that describes what's going on in the photograph and pack it with your individual keywords. Again, what are keywords? What is a customer searching on that when they find the services that you offer? Where are they? And what are they searching on to find you? Those are keywords, okay? Okay, we're going to jump into search results. Going to open up a clean browser. Going to see if you have any Google ads, what your map results are for various search searches, and your group and your Google search results are. Map results are different than search results. And I'll throw up a couple of um, competition that that are ahead of you in that. For some of these searches, I'm just going to use Phoenix, Arizona, 85086, because that's the Anthem area. That is literally right on top of where you are. You should get everybody that's in that area to find you. Let's see. Okay, I've tricked Google into thinking I am in that zip code, and I'm just searching on the word plumber. At the top, we have Pro Skills, Deer Valley, Local Plumbing. Those people have paid for paid spots. There's some ads, straight up ads, uh, ready services, blah, 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 blah. and here's map listings. Map listings usually show about three, and there they are, American Wick, Water Artist, interesting name, and Halo Plumbing. But you're not in the list. I want to see you. You're, we're, we're standing in Anthem searching, and you're not there, and I, I want to know why. So quick overview on the search results. I didn't see any Google ads. Map results for Plumber, Anthem, Arizona. You're not on the map and you're not on pages through results all the way through page five. But then I searched using the keywords Anthem, Arizona, Plumber, and you're still not on the map, but you did make it to page one. Uh, water heater installation, I couldn't find you um, anywhere uh, on uh, either method of searching. And uh, that's just not good. We got to get you on the map and we got to get you on page one of the search results. Okay, we're going to take a look at your Google My Business page. I want to see a logo. I want to see photos that are from you. I want to see reviews, and I want to see replies to reviews, and a name, address, phone, nap, name, address, phone. Let's go. Okay, so this is your Google My Business showing up on the right. I literally searched on you, MNS Plumbing. Plumber, Anthem, and uh, great, it's got a picture of you. You obviously, or somebody who works with you, put that in. I love that. Right in the back of the truck, it's got the map. That's going to be typical. And it looks like you're running out of your house, according to this address. The address of 3413 Thoreau Lane. There's that Thoreau Lane again. And, um, and it says Plumber in New River, Arizona. Could be some confusion going on there. Not sure. There's a phone number. I'm not really checking, but you want to make sure your phone numbers match across all listing. Angie's List, Yelp. City search, phone numbers, addresses, and name must match. That's what pushes you up. One of the many things that pushes you up in Google search results. You could take, um, it's got a, a link for appointments. It looks like it's just your web page. Um, know this place, reviews. Let's look at that. It's pulling from Facebook, which is good. That means you've integrated it or somebody has for you. Um, and we got some reviews here. And Pathways Family Business, Provide Professional. Look at that. Great, great write-up there. Might be good to fit as your description on your web, on your web page. Um, uh, then even got some of your blog posts in here. I love it. And your Facebook is going to be able to open up from here as well. I want to click through the reviews really quick. Look at that. Thank you, Judy. Love it. Thanks, Rebecca. Very good. Thank you, Scott. This is great. Three months ago, seven months ago, and the last one was just a month ago. So uh, kudos to you. 47 reviews, 4.8 stars. You're doing good on reviews. I love it. Just real quick on the logo. As you can see, there's no logo here. Um, uh, probably, maybe if I click through to the photos, I can see some more. We'll do that in a minute. But I do see you did take the opportunity to do the little icon. Then it looks like a picture of you standing by the truck, which is cool. It's also a good place you could do that square with the with the water droplet as a what, what we call it, what you have as a favicon. Uh, but I'm going to click through to some more photos, and these are these are looking good. Looking good. Looks like you're working. There, see, there's your logo. You can pin that if you want to, to be your number one photo. Um, but 
somebody working is a good photo too. So, um, all right. And then that last one of the house, that's just going to be what Google pulls in from their little street driving car. Quick review there, Google by Business. You didn't have a logo, but it was in a photo buried in the list of personal pictures. And you can tag that so it stays at the top if, if you want. I like to have a logo. Photos, um, personal work, work pics, those were really good pics. Reviews, yes. Replies, reviews, yes. Name, address, phone, good. So that's your Google My Business is in pretty good shape. Why aren't you showing up on the map? Before we get into that, we're going to do a quick jump over to the Facebook page. I want to see a logo in the banner, or if there is one, or some kind of logo, version of the logo in the little circle. A short name, an automated messenger, web page address, phone, email in the about section, and what do your posts look like? Let's jump over there. Got it open right here. All right, here we go. Here's some, uh, what I'm assuming is the owner now, because I see him all over the place, as your banner. That's good. Um, and then over in the circle is your logo, MS Plumbing nicely crafted to fit in the circle i like that mns plumbing and drain cleaning now look at your your short word is mns plumbing picture perfect i love it um i might i i like that work pick um but i also like to see in the circle be the face that represents the business like a calling card and then the logo in the banner but that's just me especially if it's in the banner and it's like a picture of the work truck with the logo on the side, something like that. But um, anyways, this this works as well. Call now. Love it. Action item right off the top. Call You put that fr uh, uh, free Facebook button, action button in there. I like it. Uh, let's jump down to about section. So we've got um, Thoreau Lane and Anthem. Do, 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 do. See all. Business details. You're founded in 2005. Um, that product that Probably just means your uh, Facebook page, but uh, about MS Plumbing is family owned and operated for 20 years. Plumbing service, sewer service, water heater installation, and repair service. So those are those are perfect keywords, and and you definitely want to break take those and put them in those photographs we talked about in all kinds of different places that I've mentioned in, the, in this call, in this uh, review. Let's go back to your main page, and let's look at posts. So our last post, 2017. Is that really the last post? All right, got to get some of those um, those blogs. You got to have those blog posts. Um, share them over here on Facebook. A, excuse me, a Facebook pixel like we talked about is going to help integrate those two things, uh, the web page and the Facebook page. And uh, it may not be fully automated, the ability to have a post that shows up here also show up on your web page. But there are ways to do similar functions. And, uh, and you certainly can get traffic going on. Um, being on Facebook is important uh, to small local businesses today. Why? Because all of their customers are on Facebook. Quick cap on Facebook. Um, again, there was no uh, logo in the banner. It was the, the, the work pick, which is now familiar to me. And um, I prefer the, 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 the personal face to be in the circle. It's just a thing that I like. That's the way Facebook kind of expects you to do it, too. And then put the logo over in the banner. But this is working for me too. Your short name, perfect. Automated messenger, no. What would that be if I loaded your Facebook page and um, and I got a notice from you guys to uh, uh, that if I had any questions, you can make it seasonal. You can make it about COVID. You can make it. You can make have anything you want in there. Offer something saying, hey, you, how's your water heater doing? I don't care. You can do whatever you want. But um, having a, a little pop up uh, is free and it's easy to do. Do you have everything you need in your about section? Yes, you do. And your most recent post was from 2017, which was surprising because you're obviously writing blogs over at the web page. So I'd be really interested in your statistics of how many people are reading those blogs. And can't we get a cross pollination of likes and traffic between those blogs and your Facebook page? Facebook page? I think we can. We can get a lot, of, a, a lot going for you on Facebook. Well, look at what I found over at Facebook Ad Library. That's their receptacle where they keep all the advertisements that I've ever run. Um, but nowadays, they restrict them to only current ads. So it's a little unfortunate. But you're there. There's your thing. There's your banner. There's your circle. It tells me that your page was created in 2011. And it tells me you have currently have 228 likes and you are a pl plumbing service. But down here, you got zero results of current Facebook ads. Probably ran a Facebook ad at some point. Why you don't have a pixel on the web page, then I can't really describe. I would need to talk to you and find out what that timeline was. But um, I definitely see um, some good fits for a couple of very low cost Facebook ads to drive traffic to your Facebook page and then over to the blog on the web page. 
Here's a quick thing I, I just kind of noticed out of the corner of my eye when I was searching for you, m and Plumbing, Plumber, Anthem, Arizona. Your Yelp listing shows up here. And as you notice, it says 35506 Daisy Mountain Phoenix. And you did reference in your in your thing that we now have an address so as if you have moved. And that could easily explain a lot of why you're not in the maps and you're not in the um, in the Google search results. One of the main reasons is that nap listing name address phone must match across all services google's little spiders crawl facebook they crawl city search they crawl yelp they crawl angie's list they crawl everything and they pick up on your address associated with the name associated with the phone number and they check it against every other place they can find on the internet and if there's a mismatch you move down another mismatch you move down you don't show up because they can't trust that you are a good service to represent in front of the customers that are using their service google to find you so uh that's definitely part of a service plan that i offer is over 80 listings um uh for any given um vertical of business to to make sure that your name address phone number is matching across all of those so google never misses a step okay what can we do for your business mns plumbing we can help you get more clients by showing up higher in google search results by making sure your nap name address phone match across dozens of internet sites that include those kind of details such as yelp city search all the other ones which currently yelp has an incorrect address for you and with some effort put into your website and google my business profile i can get you on map results for most local searches on your product set why aren't you getting there now because Plumber is about the only word. We need to get a lot more of your product set, a lot more keywords that people are searching on when they're looking for the services that you want to sell them in the areas you want to serve. You have that nice list of cities. All of those belong as keywords inside your web page. I can create and integrate your business Facebook pixel and draw more attention to your page from your existing and future customers. I can drive your excellent blog posts from Facebook over to your web page and back again. There are specific ad campaigns that we could run dependent on where you would like to see new clients. Think of some seasonal plumbing requirements. I don't know, I used to drain cabins back when I was a appliance repairman. I don't know what's in your area that would need to be done seasonally, but you could come up with something and you run an ad for that and it will drive traffic. So how much do we cost? Of course, that depends on what your business needs, which is why I do these videos. And then we talk to you to develop an action plan just for your business. If you thought this video was tailor-made, wait till you see our action plan. But I can assure you that we are cost-effective and provide an excellent return on investment through our unique holistic approach to online marketing and brand management. So give us a call and we'll prepare a free, no obligation online action plan just for m and Plumbing. Who are we? Well, we are Good News Media Solutions, and we are comprised of Karen Chalky up there in Anchorage, Alaska, and Eric Worthington down here in Yuma, Arizona. And who are you? You are a small business somewhere in between. That is our service area. So thank you for watching. If you would like more information about how we can help your business with some of the issues mentioned in the video and so much more, or if you have a business you want to see me review, then click, call, email Karen or I here at Good News Media Solutions so we can serve your business's online marketing needs. There's the web, the email, the phone, the Facebook, the Twitter, and your entire write-up that I did all in the comment section below. Leave a comment. Let me know. Thanks.